Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Well, we finished sanding this bowl, so I thought, why not share with you my fancy finishing? <laughs> it really isn't all that fancy. My go-to finish for years, more than I can remember, has been Waterlock's original. And as you can see by the can, as you get down, the can wants to crush and you want to keep air out of it because this stuff turns to gel. And right now it's gelling up. So I'm getting down to the point where I have to, I have to dispose of it properly. But, it's still usable. And what I do is I put the lathe on its lowest RPM and I get some on a paper towel, folded up paper towel, I put some on there and even though it's gelling up, I'll wipe it in. And what happens is it goes and starts to soak in to that end grain like a sponge. Waterlocks is a tongue oil based finish. So you're getting that protection, that waterproof protection that tongue oil provides. And it's got solvents and oils and varnishes and resins and whatever else is in the mix. But I've used this for furniture, bowls, rolling pins, pepper mills. It's my go-to finish. However, that being said, don't run out and go and buy it because probably the finish that you've been using is just as capable. Now, you're asking me, Walter, but is it food safe? Well, did you know that for the most part, and I'm not a chemist, all finishes that we use will at some point cure and when they do the cured finish is food safe for food contact. We're not saying it's edible. There are edible oils that are also finishing oils. Linseed oil. If you get raw organic linseed oil which is known as flax oil, you can ingest that. You can take teaspoons full of it and you can ingest it. In fact, some health food stores proclaim that it's wonderful to do so. You can also use walnut oil. Walnut oil is also a drying oil and so therefore it will cure over time without any additives, without any thinners, without any varnishes. But tongue oil I wouldn't ingest. You can ingest walnut oil. Some people like to use other oils, rape seed oil, grape seed oil, um, some say mineral oil. I say no to mineral oil. Why? It will evaporate, it's a non-hardening oil, it will wash off, etc, etc. So that's it. Done.
All I do now is make sure there's no, any, no excess, buff it off, set it aside, tomorrow gets another coat, done. Maybe a coat of wax. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there you have it. My fancy wood finishing tips. And yes, fancy gloves. I don't know why we didn't have these 45, 46, 47 years ago. We used to wash our hands in benzene. And for you young people, you don't know what benzene is because it's been off the shelves for years, but that was a form of paint thinner and paint brush cleaner. Then they came out with trichloroethane or uh, carbon tetrachloride, which was non-flammable. I'm going to touch up a little bit of the end grain a little more because it soaks it in like a sponge. But we've learned over time that many of the chemicals we used were not all that good for us. And uh, there's a, probably a lot of things we're still using that are not very good for us. So, as I finish up my stash of water locks, I have two more unopened cans. There is a product I want to try. And I'll report back on it when I do. It is, uh, yeah, what's the name of it now? It's a pure tongue oil, poly polymerized tongue oil, or heat-treated tongue oil, which is uh, blended, and you, there's no petroleum additives, and there's no harmful ingredients. You can use, you don't need to use gloves. It's safe. It's tongue oil. But of course, we do use gloves because it's messy. And uh, when I get that product, I will test it and I will probably be switching to that. As I get older, I don't want to, to uh, te test fate by using more and more nasty chemicals in the workshop. I want to use less, less nasty chemicals. So there you go. That bowl is, good, is beautiful. Be a nice little serving bowl or a nut bowl. Hope you found something useful, helpful, maybe entertaining, but uh, I look forward to having you come back again and see what other craziness I'm up to. But more importantly, head out to your shop and go make some shavings. Walter out.